This is Dee with Divine Needle, and this is a reading for the Sun Sign of Pisces for the week of Monday, June 27th through Sunday, July the 3rd. So we're moving into cancer season now. Pisces, so into water, which that's what you are. Okay, Pisces, your energy this week, cave. Mm. It's kind of like... um keeping secrets or hmm or the come here the strongest energy coming towards you is the gem so let's dig into this and figure out what's going on for this coming week so the cave this is your energy the dark the portal the interior those who are fortunate enough to find and enter the cave are forever changed it is a place of potent power acting both as a portal to another realm and a space for sacred ritual and initiation. The cave is a place to return for meaningful retreat, where one can see the true self in the darkness. In esoteric teachings, the cave is known to reside in the center of the heart. Within its walls, the whispers of compassion and self-understanding can be heard. Yet because of its mystery and power, many of us fear the cave and never try to find it. We busy ourselves in the bright lights of the city while the cavernous and dimly lit chamber calls out to us in the night. Where is your cave? You already know. Return to it and tend the fire. Hmm. So when in light, this is the sacred center within. And when in dark, it's withdraw, isolation, and hiding. I hope you're not hiding, Pisces, because you have a gem coming towards you. <laughs> Don't hide from the gem, Pisces. That's not good. You do have a gem coming towards you. That's good news. The diamond, the gold, the inner treasure. There are infinite names for the gem. It is also known as the jewel, the star, the talent, the gift, the gold. One thing for certain is that it is found deep within a substance that is very much unlike it. For example, a diamond in the rough. The gem always stands in contrast to its surroundings. You can't find it when you are among comforts and pleasantries. Precious stones develop slowly deep in the earth amid pressure and darkness in the cave. Notice hmm, the gem in the cave. Maybe you're the gem. <laughs> Discovering the gem requires a descent beneath the surface where there is no definitive map. Yet the longing to touch the true gem within us is so strong that we cannot help but seek out its radiance. Your gem, like your destiny, is unlike any other in the entire world. Keep digging. Fascinating. Some of you could quite literally be digging in a cave for gems. Not kidding. With this energy? <laughs> That's a possibility, some of you. Mm-hmm. So, more power to you. If you are digging in caves, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> For those of you that are just digging deep, finding yourselves, this could be your energy that you're finding inside. But I have a feeling for many of you, this is somebody that you find as a diamond in the rough. Somebody that is not the average everyday Joe Schmo. Okay? So keep that in mind. And the gem is unique, shining, generative, and irreplaceable. And when in the dark can be envy, greed, or grasping. Hmm. So keep that in mind. All right, Pisces. Wow, what an interesting reading. We're going to get you a Lover's Path card. The Lover's Path. Let's 
see what it comes up with for you for Pisces this coming week. Oh, down in there. <laughs> Six of arrows. I think, um, is it Cancer that got this? Another water sign? Got the Six of Arrows. From rough seas into calm, relaxed seas. <laughs> Quite possibly traveling. Hmm. Traveling for pleasure, perhaps? To see a gem. Somebody you see as a gem. Hmm. So arrows are swords. Okay. So this is the Six of Swords energy. And this is transitions, travel, and movement. Transitions that go smoothly. New knowledge that helps one move beyond current limitations. The lessening of difficulties. Detachment to better understand a situation. In the reverse, it can be more understanding of a situation is needed before it can change and possibly travel delays. But I don't see that. This feels like transitioning energy that you may actually be traveling to see somebody you consider quite the gem. Mm -hmm. For some of you. Others, it's going to a cave and digging for gems quite literally. <laughs> Anyway, Pisces, to find out more about this particular reading and the energies contained for this coming week for you, you can book a personal private video reading and the information is in the description box below for that. And please do like, share, and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Anyway, do have a good week, Pisces. It looks amazing. <laughs>